Our intention is to create 3D virtual human anatomy that a student can learn from, dissect it. If they made a mistake, press a button, it fills it up again and they can dissect it again. They can do it as many times as they want, no harm done to anybody, it's a computer model. But the, in order to make such a technology acceptable in the medical, uh, uh, medical schools, it has to be able to mimic very accurately real bodies. We have a number of research projects trying to deal with this kind of issues. Now these research projects, of course, they are very focused on talking about mathematics, uh, then we create some algorithms, then we look at the limitations of computing ha hardware power, software power kind of thing and try and understand to say how can we uh, create a, s a solution from this and the solutions are very important you know, because the solutions are the things that's going to make impact in the society. Every project we do, we don't hide in a corner between engineers and mathematicians and do it, we have medical team involved with us because Whatever we are doing is to help the medical profession uh, and in order to do that we must understand what their real needs are. We must understand how they work in different situations. Not only the medics who are working with us who are excited about this, we also pilot these ideas with other medics and the other medics who are not involved with us in our research projects, they're, ex they're beginning to get excited about this kind of technologies. The virtual surgery is predominantly going to be used by surgeons and the surgeon's interest is twofold. One, if it's a complicated surgery, even an experienced surgeon might want to do a pre-planning or pre-rehearsal. It could be a very useful tool in that situation. The same tool is also useful when you've got a trainee surgeon. The cycle of training is quite long. And what we believe is using this kind of techniques, what we could do in virtual surgery, we can have an expert perform a surgery, a particular surgery, we can record all the movements that that expert makes, we can ask a novice then to do the same, and we can compare the two signatures, and based on that we can actually develop a whole training plan to say how quickly can we take the novice to the same level as an expert.